Hello, and thank you for clicking on this link to learn about the QuickBooks File Manager. So it's a very apt name for what it tries to do. Manage your clients and all the file types that really matter to you. If we, before we even talk about File Manager, if I just go and click on a folder, which I have a lot of QuickBooks files in here, I mean, you can kind of get the idea. You guys run into this a lot more than me, but you'll see, you know, my extensions are turned on. If they're not, it gets a little more confusing because you have about four or five names for every company file now. You know, gone are those days from 05 where you just had, you know, the QBW. Really, that was about it. <laughs> the backup. So I have different type files, a transaction log, network data locator, and you probably, you know, you haven't worked in a client file for a while. So you're, you're going out and grabbing, you know, which one is the most recent. So maybe you click date modified, right, and do, do the most uh, recent one. And then go to the particular QBW file, for example, and mouse over it. And it'll tell you the last, oh, it's 2010, great. So I know exactly what I need to do. Or maybe you right click, choose properties. So we're trying to take all this legwork, make it irrelevant. And that's what the file manager tries to do. Uh, one of the things. So you notice it's its own little icon. Got my mouse over it, right? You guys will have it. And, and if I move this down a little, my file manager down, it works with Pro 2011, Premier 2012, 10, and my Enterprise, right? Not with point of sale, but anyway, with a QuickBooks desktop products here. And I have my clients on the left and all their files and file types on the right. It looks at company files, a .qbw, right? Accountants copy file types, right? The .qba, uh, and backups and portables. So the, bat, the .qbb and the .qbm. So you know where they all are, even more importantly, where they are, and it could be out on the server, and then when they were last modified or last created, if they're backups or something, and what version it was in, and launch it in that, that year's uh, you know, version, as long as you have it installed. Okay, so it'll, it'll know that too, and you just double-click on it. Very right-clickable, you know, I can notice all the file operations there. Okay, you can even open the source folder, which is where this, these files will be located. So, great, but how do you add your clients? So under the Clients menu, Add Clients via update client list wizard or you can do drag and drop from windows too it's up to you we don't want to change how your folder structure out in the server not at all perhaps you have a folder per client and you click next and you browse out and grab you know through your network go out to the server folder and grab your client folders and list them here under client name and then click finish and it'll add them all at once like it did to mine a to z clients on the left folder types uh, file types on the right it also gives some information on the file if you click the information tab as well as your notes at the bottom and this pulls this from the company information window it even knows I have payroll for example or file 1099s so very helpful just kind of allowing you to manage your clients and their file types you can also put the clients in groups and I have payroll clients and enterprise clients or tax clients and you choose a group a client can be part of more than one group this just allows you to filter your list Click the drop down, all clients or these groups, or perhaps just my 2010 clients do I want to look at. Okay. Also, what about usernames and passwords? Again, all the file operations are here. You can right click, as we saw that. And here's the password vault. And I can even see this year, if I right click, I can choose view username and password. Put in my username and the password. And I can actually see exactly what my, excuse me, there it goes, admin into it. So I know that. And you can do file specific uh, pa username uh, passwords or username password, or you can do a username password for all files of a particular client. You have these login options here. So I actually happen to use the same username and password for all files of the client. So it has a password vault, as well as you can upgrade in a batch to 2012. Of course, QuickBooks would need to be closed. Um, and then, of course, when you know, maybe do it at the end of the day when you come back, depending on how many files you chose or how many files of a client you chose, they'll be all be upgraded. And the archive backup will, do, will be down in the backup and portable file section. And finally, uh, new for this year too with File Manager, because File Manager has been around since 2011. Right? It's in the Accountant Editions, Premier Accountant or Enterprise Accountant. But I can create a File Manager backup and I can restore it into a File Manager on another machine because this is a local kind of File Manager for me works with my clients files I could put all the firm files in here if I want but it's not a multi-user thing so if I move computers or something I might want to take a backup of this and restore it into the other file manager so again we're trying to cut down the time it takes to find the right file to know what's the one that was last modified the most relevant file and to open it within the product and all you do is just kind of double click and it launches up the file from file manager so I hope that was helpful and you guys have a great day and use file manager I hope it saves you time take care